Hey YouTube, it's your boy Jim Miles. Today we're back on our video. Today we're gonna be doing homemade ginger, ginger snaps slash ginger cookies or something like that. So yeah, so here are the ingredients. Yeah, I got the brown sugar since you know I'm gonna be using that. The butter, the molasses since you know you got that. That's all I'm gonna be using so far so far, but I do know that you gotta have baking soda too, but I've been out for the messes part up. The cinnamon. And also the ginger. That's all I'm gonna, I'm gonna have. So, so yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get started. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got everything set up and measured out, and all we need now is just add one cup of light brown, I mean some brown sugar. Okay, once you have the brown sugar, all you gotta do now is just add the butter. And we know it's a little melted. Yeah. Okay, once you added the brown sugar and, bu and butter. Uh, I have to this a bit more. Yeah. Okay, once you got that mixed in real good. And I'm gonna keep you updated once you get ready for the molasses. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you added the butter and brown sugar, all you do now is just add the vanilla extract and also some molasses. You can add that. Got to scrape it off. We want to get in my hands. Well, I already, I already did though. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the molasses scraped off. Hey guys, some back. So once you got the molasses taken care of, since you know, I swear that stuff is sticky. Okay, once you got us, you got the molasses. Oh yeah, stir it up with the brown sugar. You know I'm gonna do now? Just add our egg and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the egg out. Hey, got some back. So once you got the molasses stirred up in the vanilla extract too, all you gotta do now is just add our eggs. Since you only got the eggs, since, since you know I forgot to introduce it and stuff. So yeah, but my, my bad. Once you got the egg in, Okay, once you got Captain Stir in. Now I'm gonna do now just finally move on to our dry ingredients, and I'm gonna keep you updated once it gets to dry ingredients. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got once you got the wet ingredients taken care of, all you do now is just add two cups of self rising flour. Since you know I forgot to oh you buy baking soda, I bet the molasses is probably gonna react to it and probably gonna mess, probably gonna maybe mess up and stuff. So yeah. Okay, once you add. Two cups of silver ice and flour. All I have to do now is just add some, a, let's see, a teaspoon of cinnamon. And last but not least, is some ginger. Gotta add that to, to the recipe, but I might add a little more though, so yeah. Okay, once you add added the ginger and also the cinnamon, which is teaspoons, all I have to do now is just give this a quick stir. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get everything mixed in. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your ginger and cinnamon mix, mixed in, but added a little more ginger and also some cinnamon, just in case it doesn't take, taste right. Since you know, ginger snap slash, I mean slash uh, ginger, ginger bread cookie is gonna have a little spice uh, taste and stuff. So yeah, once you did that, now I'm gonna do now just finally mix that stuff in with the wet ingredients. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the wet 
uh, my wedding ring is out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your wedding rings out, all you do now just add some self some flour in there. So yeah. Once I get get that stuff mixed in. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your to have a, the flour mixed in with the ingredients, all you do now just finally add the rest. Since I might add some more, like a little more flour since I'm gonna take it takes too long. Once you added the flour in there, all you had to do now is just right, get that some mixed in. Hey, got some back. So once your mixer has stopped, like you stop reacting to it, and all I'm gonna do now, just get get this spatula out and finally mix that stuff in, or heat your hands, or something like that, or whatever. So yeah. But what we're gonna do now, just get get a paint out. We'll get a cookie sheet out and also some sugar out since you know I gotta use white sugar and stuff. So yeah, but you know how to use it. But it's it's y'all's choice and stuff. So yeah, you know I'm gonna keep it dated, dated once I get this stuff out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got let's see, once you got your cookie dough made up, all you gotta do now is just get some of the cookie dough and roll it up like that, roll it like that. And sorry about that. I just put our dog in in our see in our in my room since he won't be quiet and put the sugar into I mean put the cookie dog into the sugar and put it put it into the tray and do the same thing. Sorry about that. Don't wanna know. There we go. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I show you. Hey, I got some back. So once you roll the cookie dough up, and that's where the cookie is gonna be. And stuff, so yeah. And onto this tray where I, where I, as you always do and stuff, so yeah. And I'm gonna do now just make, make the rest of this cookie dough, and I'm gonna keep it updated once it get done. Hey, I got some back. So once you got your cookie doughs all rolled up, with white sugar on there and check it out and that's how you do it so yeah and and all we need now just finally put those hey, put those bad boys in the oven since we know ginger snacks slash ginger cookies and stuff so yeah and i'm gonna keep it there once it gets to the oven hey guys i'm back so once you get to the oven and if, if you do see 350 i always remember preheat your oven to 350. okay once you open the oven all we're gonna do now, just get a cookie, get a cookie dough. Like that. Okay, once you got those bad boys in the oven, all you're gonna do now, just close it. And then, there you go. Let the cookies bake. So yeah, and I'm keeping it at once the cookies are, are done cooking and stuff. So yeah, since I forgot to buy the baking soda, since you need baking soda to make ginger snap cookies. Hey, you got some bags. So once the ginger snaps are cooking, and there it is, they're finally done. Yeah, 
check it out before we done. So yeah, once you got the clip, you'll see clip is out. All I gotta do now, just turn it off. And there you go, the, the ginger snap cookies are done. And I'm gonna keep it updated for one side, show you the cookies. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your ginger snap, a ginger snap cookies out, and shake it out. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, all nice and done. So yeah, but a few little cracks, but I'm gonna let it go sit. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I finally get the cookies out. Oh yeah, into the plate. Hey guys, I'm back. So I finally got my ginger snap, ginger snap cookies on there and stuff. So yeah, and that's how you do it. So let's get those, maybe a, 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 I mean, a taste test and stuff. So yeah, check it out. Ooh, I'm, 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 I'm all nice and done on, on the inside and stuff. So yeah. So yeah, let's get this a taste test in 3, 2, 1. And these are so good, ginger snaps. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it updated once I get through my cookies. Hey guys, I'm back. So the ginger snap cookies that I had is super amazing and good. But it turned out perfect though, so yeah, so check it out. Three pieces of ginger bread snaps, oh yeah, snap cookies. Brought the boom. I had three, check out the rest. Homemade ginger snap cookies slash ginger cookies and stuff. So yeah, out the bone, you know. And that's all for this video on ginger snaps cookies, which is homemade and stuff. So yeah, mm, yeah. Way too if you're new to the channel, please give a like, share, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell if you get a chance. And it's been your boy Jim Miles. Peace out. Hope you enjoy.